Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMind Blocks. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the return of GPU mining profitability. Yay! Okay, so as you guys know, over this last year, it's been a, a pretty horrendous time for us uh, miners, GPU miners, and also even the ASIC miner guys. But now there is some positive news on the horizon and things are looking um, a lot better. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the numbers and um, how that looks for me and how it's gonna look for you guys in the, the current sort of situation and also in the near future. So let's open up our web browser and take a look at the market cap to start. So we're on the Quayam market cap and we currently have a combined market cap of 188 billion. So if we take a look um, in comparison to the last sort of few months, uh, if we look at the three month chart, we can see a upward kind of trend in motion. So if we go back to the sort of early February time, there is a market cap of 111 billion, and now we're at 188. So in the last three months, uh, the combined market cap has improved by um, 70 billion. So it's looking um, like a much better, that's quite a significant improvement. That's almost, uh, you know, like 70% up um, from where we were. So quite a dramatic change over the last few months. Um, it looks like we're going to be carrying the momentum forward. Um, I'm not um, really into uh, trading stuff as much, but my um, my sentiment or my general feeling of things is that this is going to continue throughout 2019. There's lots of positive news on the uh, that's keeps on coming through, and things just keep looking better and better at the moment. So I think 2019 is going to be a much better year for us. So what that means for us uh, miners, and like I say, uh, most of you guys are GPU miners or CPU miners, um, the guys that sort of tend to follow me. So if we take a look at what to mine, and um, I've just kind of entered my details and you can kind of see the performance uh, and the, uh, the earnings that I'm currently getting. So with a 1080 Ti, we've got selected up here, we've got one. The only thing I need to change is this beam setting. Of course, a few of the other um, performance characteristics will be slightly different. You might get slightly higher or lower, but these are really more kind of baseline benchmarks. But I know for me, uh, as I've recently done the beam video, uh, we are having much better performance when mining beams. So if you use those settings, and I use, um, in the UK, it's about 12 pence, so that's about 16 cents per kilowatt hour for my electricity costs. So bear that in mind, use that as a kind of basis point from these uh, other calculations. So we hit the calculate, and then we'll take a look at what the profitability is. So you can see we are looking good. So for uh, nice hash with uh, Bing, um, the revenues are just over a dollar and the daily earnings are about 30 uh, cents actually, specifically 29 cents. Uh, from there it kind of drops down a bit. So if you've got a 1080 Ti or similar cards, um, you should be, um, you know, basically returning to profitability. That's the point that I'm kind of getting at here. Uh, so uh, I've only got a single 1080 Ti, but uh, it kind of gives you a good uh, example of what to look for. Let me just calculate that again because it didn't quite show. Normally Bing shows um, separately on the other machine it did, but now it's only showing the, the nice hash results. Um, but for example, with a 1080 Ti, you're gonna be earning a dollar a day in revenue and about 30% profit on that considering your electricity costs. Uh, the other cars that I've got, I've got quite a few um, 1060s. So if we select those, uh, just to kind of show you what they look like in comparison as well. So we've just got one 1060 just as an example. They tend to use a lot less power, so you can see a lot of these kind of set for between 70 and 90 watts. I normally use around about 75 watts, so the performance is slightly better. Um, but again, the revenues are about sort of 38 cents and just a couple of cents in profit. But the the main sort of thing to consider is that these profits are, you know, the profit is there now, whereas previously you was mining and losing pretty much every day. Um, and if you've got any higher spec cards, so any of the RTX cards, uh, the 20,000 series, or uh, sorry, 2000 series cards, uh, for example, let's take a look at a uh, 2080 Ti, which some of you may have. And we'll take a look at that. So that's one of the most, um, you know, one of the most newest and also uh, best performing uh, GPUs that you can get right now. Uh, so 10, 2080 Ti. Let's see how that looks. Uh, NTP um, just under a dollar a day, 25 cents uh, profit. Again, with a bit of tweaking, you could probably see some improvements there. Now, if we look at the AMD sort of side of things, a card that I'm very familiar with is like the 470s. 
Uh, obviously 570s, uh, 480s and 580s are all going to be very similar uh, performance. With the AMD cars, they do use a little bit more power, so you can um, scrub a bit of this power off, probably get them to around about 90 watts, for example, when using uh, Furum and stuff like that. Obviously, your, um, your own details will be slightly different. But here you can see the earnings in terms of revenue. It's about 44 cents we're recording there when using NiceHash. Uh, and the profit is currently at minus 2 cents. So we're coming closer and closer to that break-even point. I think if as the market continues to improve, um, I think also the AMD cards are going to be looking to start getting back into profits as well. At the moment, it's kind of almost there. If you guys have got slightly cheaper electricity, then basically you're going to be back and um, into the money, which is going to be good for you guys. Let's take a quick look at a Vega card just for a comparison. And it's not looking particularly good for the Vega. So probably really the Radeon 7s are, are going to be probably your best bet if you're on AMD or very carefully picking and choosing exactly what you're mining if you do have the uh, Vega cards. Probably better on Vega 56 actually. You're going to need some serious uh, power optimizations. Yeah, slightly more profitable overall. Uh, I mean, you're making less of a loss at least. But um, not quite great. So not quite there yet for AMD cards, but um, I think their future is looking um, a lot better. Uh, one other thing I was going to show you, I don't have a chart for it. Um, just talking about the reason why this has come about. So what happens is when you get these um, turnarounds in the market, in this case, it's obviously increasing. But what we've had previous to that is a declining market. So during all of this time here, you've got this big decline. And what that means is that a lot of miners obviously drop out the system. They kind of turn off their rigs, sell their rigs, sell their hardware, all that sort of stuff. And what that means is that the mining difficulty goes down. So then the mining rewards are greater for everyone else, but also the, um, the dollar value is much lower as well. But what happens is as this continues on, you kind of get this uh, flip over or exchange point where basically the return there is a return to profit because people can't mine for a loss forever. So sooner or later, the difficulty has to drop low enough or the price has to increase enough to, to return back to some sort of level of um, profitability. So... So that's it for this video. I just want to show you guys if you're not kind of aware or staying up to date on things that at the moment uh, things are looking really quite positive in the mining sort of um, sector. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to short share that with you. Uh, one or two other little things. If you guys have been sort of following me, you know I've been working on this Project Zero. So I'll show you a picture right now. So this is my, um, it's a Raspberry Pi Zero, but I'm calling it Project Zero. And it's a micro miner or micro um, staker. The one that we've got, I'll just send you a picture of right now. It's currently mining um, Ravencoin. I can show you what that looks like actually. So this is the uh, the miner itself, and you can see the current hash rate and performance there. So it's been mining um, almost about, I think it was around about 12 hours, something like that. I started late last night. I was up quite late getting this running. So that's a Raspberry Pi Zero or Project Zero currently mining Ravencoin. It can also mine many other algorithms as well. Um, I've been doing like a separate sort of video and updates on that. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, um, go and check out that video and um, there's some more information. It, all, the device is also capable of staking and stuff as well. So that's quite an interesting sideline project. So I just kind of jam that little bit in at the end here just to kind of make you aware of that if you're not already. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video.